Spiritual warfare. Enemy is attacking you. That can mean multiple enemies. It don't just have to be about one person. They will try to kill, steal, harm, bring problems in the energy flow. Pretty much it's standing for what is right and what is wrong. They're trying to get their, pretty much they're attacking you is so that their attentions are off of them of what they are doing. And like I said, this could be somebody, whoever they're around with. If somebody's got wicked ways, then there's a problem. And you don't even realize it that you don't know somebody's true attentions. On top of that, it can bring some type of troubles in the flow, actually. Some people understand that and some people don't. They just go, oh, you're full of it. But like I said, they have not experienced it. It is bringing a disturbance to your sleep, to your thinking. It's caused a disturbance, meaning that, you know, something is not right. That you know it's somebody or it could be multiple people. Alright. And it can also be a type of abuse as well. You're pretty much fighting off evil. Is pretty much what's going on. That's what you're pretty much doing. So let's find out what is going on with all this. Why is there spiritual warfare attacks going on? What else is there that needs to be known? Attitude. So somebody thinks that's nonsense. Just having an attitude straight up. Mm. Skill. So somebody thinks that they have a skill to want to harm you. And they are being inspiration. It's also being influenced. Pride is in reverse. So somebody's pride is hurt at the moment. That they're not understanding your new idea. So, meaning that they're trying to come up with new ideas, alright, but they're being influenced, and that's why they got somewhat of an attitude, because they're tired of it, but you also got to think about this, too. When you bring somebody spiritual warfare, it can also make a person be rebellious okay meaning that somebody's going to get an attitude and going to show you that your skill ain't shit all right and people who are inspiration is also meaning that people are being influenced to think they're skillful that's why they think it's nonsense that you have ideas to what is going on and that's why their pride is reversed meaning their pride is broke and they're trying to understand how you have new ideas of understanding all right spirituality yeah this is probably what it is that you have an understanding about spirituality and somebody doesn't. Alright. And mood is that somebody's trying to bring you violence. People are trying to gang up on you. They're moody as fuck. 
Now, you got to think about it, too. The person who's doing it is doing it, all right? The person is intentionally sending you out. They want to hurt you. They want to cause you problems. They pretty much, somebody almost spiritually killed me. I was looking very sick. And somebody is sending something my way. And almost killed me, actually. Spiritually killed me, but then it got into the physical. So that can also be it, too. Why their mood Somebody wants to attack you just because you're spiritual and they don't like it that you're picking up on people pretty much being somebody's bitch on a string. They're being influenced, meaning it's not their own. So you are picking it up that they truthfully don't understand about spirituality. Because if you were spirituality, you don't have to be influenced no, somebody's being influenced on how to hurt you and how to bring troubles, how to gang up on you. And somebody thinks they have the potential to hurt you. Someone thinks they got the potential to have order over you. I would not recommend that. You cannot have order over someone, all right? Fluidity and sexuality. So somebody thinks that it's cute when you do spiritual attacks, but then you got others out there that don't see it attractive. All right, so I'm getting multiple energies here, so please try to keep up with me, and I'll try to do my best here. Sexuality. Somebody thinks it's cute to harm you. All right, because they're being influenced. They have ideas, all right. Then somebody thinks it's attractive how you understand how spiritual warfare works, all right. <clears throat> so, like I said, you got multiple people out here who are wicked. You got some people who knows that spiritual warfare is fighting against evil attentions, all right? And resistance wanted to come out, so somebody is refusing to being pushed back or regret blockage and opening. So somebody's not feeling regret here of who they know who is spiritually attacking you. And it's intimacy, romance. So yeah, so somebody, whoever they're around with, they are having intimacy with them. And they think it's cute, but it's not actually. That can actually bring a lot of issues. Yeah, there's teamwork here to cause aches. Disruption. Yeah, so disruption, di disruption twice. Disturbance. Disruption. That's pretty much what it is. So they are in a group trying to teamwork on how to keep keep you in a weird loop. Uh, feeling like you do. Because they're working with others. Flow. Freedom. So somebody doesn't want you to have freedom of flow. So that's why somebody may be spiritually attacking you. The enemy is attacking you is because you're spiritual. You have free flow. And like I said, temperament, pressure, control, hostility. So that's mood. They're trying to bring pressure. They're controlling hostility. So, meaning that this kind of explains of what I have written down and what I felt in the energy flow. So, thank you, ancestors, for helping me. Now, if I could find this one card. It's very difficult to find sometimes. It's really difficult. <clears throat> Professional vision future plans. 
Oh, so somebody wants to bring order, try to control you, and has future plans. Pretty much if somebody can kill you spiritually, they're okay with that. They don't give a damn. Their charm is wicked. Alright. Let me see. Where is it at? Why can I not find it? This card is hiding out pretty good right now. Skill. Yep. Somebody thinks it's skillful. There we go. Bouncing back, overcoming obstacles, trauma, presents survival. So somebody's mad at you because you survived. You're a survivor. You pretty much bounce back from what they're trying to do. And for some odd reason, the mystery, hidden feelings, withdrawn, uncovering the truth. So there's some truth here. Somebody's mad because you bounce back from what they try to do. The hostility, trying to spiritually kill you. Your voice, they're trying to silence your voice because they don't want you talking. Because you know they're a rule breaker. You know they're a rebellion and so are you. And they don't like that, that you are a rebellion. So the problem is, is that here, what I feel <clears throat> is that somebody is in defense, bickering, arguing with teamwork of how, how you're not affected, how are you still here. Somebody thinks you're full of nonsense. Somebody thinks that you do not belong here. Somebody wants you out of the picture so they can have a future. And they want you to pretty much, they want to try to worry you, try to control you. Narcissistic abuse. They're bickering the fact that they want you to silence your voice. They're trying to gang up on you. So they're trying to do everything. So if they can't silence you by talking rumors, then they will really go low blow with black magic and their wicked ways. Somebody's mad because you won't silence your voice and you should not have to. Silence your voice to nothing. All right. If you want to speak about it, you should have a right to because this is very serious. Somebody is trying to shut you the hell up. I wouldn't I wouldn't keep quiet. Yep. Resistance. Somebody <laughs> they're going to have to be cautious. They're going to have to be very careful because there's love in the mix. So somebody would love to get you out of the picture. All right. Like I said, it's adding up to everything. Somebody has ambition. This is just really sad to me. Sometimes this is just sad. But, you know, this is how some people are. Friendship, relationship, building. Oh, so these people are wanting to silence your voice. Because you know about people having friendships that are relationship building. And they're trying to put you in competition. And it's the truth. Straightforwardness. So that's what it is. They are wanting you to shut your mouth. They don't want you to know that they're being influenced. That's why they're having people gang up on you spiritually. Trying to make you sick. Trying to cause issues. And in teamwork. Mm, ain't that something. Yep. Technic you skill. So someone is doing something. Thinking they got skill. Caution. Yep, caution of fear. This is fearing somebody that you know who they are. This is fearing. That's why they need to be cautious <clears throat> of how they speak about you, about their actions. And if something doesn't feel right, then it probably isn't. 
So that's why they want you. That's why they're trying to gang up on you. That's why they're trying to give you attitude. That's why they're trying to be skillful in a group of people. Because you broke their pride half to death. You have new ideas about spirituality, about what is going on. That's why they want to try to gang up on you because they want a future elsewhere. They're trying to bring order. They're trying to tell you how to live. They're trying to do everything and anything to you. And they think it's sexy of what they're trying to do to you. Yep. Yeah. It's what it is. Somebody's charm is not there anymore. Defense. Opposition, self-defense, decent, confrontation. Yeah, confrontational. So somebody is bringing it out to the flow of being confrontational. So for whoever is bringing spiritual warfare, you're causing confrontations and that's what you're wanting. You have ambition to want to try to shut somebody up about love. But they're going to have to be cautious and they're going to have to watch how they're speaking. They're going to really have to watch themselves on their attitude. Because you know if somebody's out somewhere, you know if they're being influenced. You know it. And energy never lies. That that's what it is. They want you, they want to silence you. They're trying to do, see it by silencing you. They almost killed me. That's how, that's how they think that's what they're going to get. But no, this is not how it works. You're not God. You're not here to take me out. That is not your fucking job. That is God's choice. If I stay here or if I go, that is the good Lord's decision. Not everybody else. <clears throat> All right. I'll make that fucking clear. You want to be a rebel? Oh, trust me, there's other people who can show you what a rebel really is. It's like someone's getting a taste of their own medicine. And each person, whoever is influencing, whoever is bringing trouble, fights, arguments, trying to bring harm, kill... The enemy is attacking because you won't shut up. But they're being told to be careful with what they're talking about. What they're doing actually in the energy flow. They have attitude, but they're bringing you attitude. Meaning, conversation is that pretty much a spiritual warfare. What these people don't understand is that people who are bringing you spiritual warfare... Pretty much you're going to have to put your armor on and have to stand up for yourself. That's a war. Alright. Lay a solid foundation. So somebody's getting an attitude because they don't know how to set a solid foundation. It's not pure. And they want to lay a solid foundation of trying to destroy you. That's all their attentions are. What is this about? The miracles are endless. Yep. You ask. <clears throat> you ask for a miracle. It's endless. Meaning that you ask. It's probably endless. Meaning that. You ask. It will always probably be granted. If you know what you're doing. So this is pretty much. Something very petty. <clears throat> Somebody's trying to use skill. Somebody is not using their mind wisely. Or maybe their skill is looking up and trying to do something to you. Somebody's not using their mind wisely. And the inspiration about people being accomplices or people being influenced. Be fearless and be bold. That's what it is. They don't like you being inspirational of calling it out. What's pride about? 
The abundant universe. Ooh. The universe is not providing them stuff anymore. I really hope that is not the case, but that's how that card came out. The abundant universe will provide, and this pride is reversed. I don't think the universe is going to provide them anymore because of what they are doing that is very dirty. All right. They're not going to provide somebody anything, money, information, their skill. Yeah, let, let it shine. The idea, the innovation, bringing new ideas, you're letting it shine. And you're being brave and you're being bold about it. You don't give a fuck. It will be brought to the light. Some people are nervous, all right, about dealing with spiritual warfare because it can cause a lot of issues. Set healthy boundaries. Yeah, people are not setting very healthy boundaries and you being spiritual or understanding spirituality, understanding spiritual laws, you understand that. People are not setting healthy ass boundaries. Mood. Spirit has a plan. Oh boy. So that's what it is. Spirit has a plan. So go ahead and let these people try to come after you. Let let them do what they're doing. Let them do it because spirit has a plan. Potential about having a future. Believe in yourself. Yeah. So there's people who are not wanting you to believe in yourself that you have potential that you could have, that you could have a future. Somebody doesn't want you to believe in that. Somebody wants you to feel like they really don't want you to believe in yourself. They really don't. Order, make your dreams come true. Oh, I would be careful what you wish for because a lot of people got themselves weaved in what they cannot get out of. There's a spider here and a web. 57 squirrel spirit and spider spirit 56 oh. let me see okay i guess that's all they wanted to know all right so yeah somebody literally is trying to bring order to what they're bringing to their reality not of what see whatever you're doing to an individual, you are making your dreams come true of what you want to happen to you. Because you're putting it out there. That's what's hilarious to me. And a lot of people who understand this will kind of somewhat understand it. But people who are just sending it out there constantly, they don't understand of what they're truthfully doing to an individual. Alright, they truthfully don't. Take a leap of faith. Mm. Oh boy. Sometimes life stings. Sexu sexuality. Excuse me. Sexuality. Sometimes life stings. So somebody's about to get sting. And they ain't going to like it. Just remember... Spirit has a plan for these people who are bringing this to you. They're actually in fear. Alright. They're scared of something. Resilience. Bring your ideas to life. So somebody literally has brought it to life. So <laughs> what, what I kind of feel here. Is that bring your ideas to life. Meaning that spirit is warning you to speak upon this. Of what they're bringing into their reality. Embrace the in-between. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, that song is coming to my head. And it's um the in-between. She sings, um, shoot, what, I can't, I can't remember what her name is, 
but she sings in between. She sings a lot of really good songs. And the in between might be something. It's about a holy war. So there is something here that if you, th this is what you wanted. I can bring you a little bit of hell. I can bring you a little bit of heaven. So is this what you wanted? Oh, that's very dangerous. So somebody was wanting you to bring heaven and hell. Or somebody wanted you to have a war with them. But truthfully, I really don't think I really don't think that's what they're ready for. I really don't think they're ready for you to go to war to protect yourself and put your armor on. They are not ready to understand how rebellious you really are. These people think they're rebellious. No, they're not. They're not really rebellious. They're about to find out. Nothing is wasted. Yeah. Nothing is wasted on vulture spirit. Yeah, nothing is wasted. So, pretty much, this could be saying that whatever they're putting out, it's nothing wasted. So, you pretty much cause somebody to get a little bit rough with you. Meaning, somebody's saying nothing is wasted. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you did something in the energy flow. You got somebody going who's ready. I don't know. Yeah, trying to cause... Problems. Be here now. Is that the conversation says be here now. So somebody is literally controlling. Now this is really weird on how I'm picking this up. Because usually the hummingbird usually means protecting your energy. Protecting your home. Protecting your relationship. It says be here now. So, somebody is literally demanding somebody to be conversational. Somebody is like, be here now. So, somebody's being bossy. Somebody's trying to be controlling of a situation. And they don't like it because you're, fear <laughs> you're fearless and you're bold. Meaning that you've been through hell and back. All right. You have been through so much that it's nothing new to you, all right? There is always enough. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know about that one. That one's... That's getting a little bit deep. That's like fighting words. Now, I don't know if this is somebody who's sending the spiritual warfare... Or if this is what the person who sent it out is going to get back. There is always enough. They pretty much are in fear. So from what I'm getting, there is always enough. Oh boy. Whoever sent the spiritual warfare, whoever sent out of trying to kill, I don't know. Like, this person is in fear, and they're going to have to be cautious as of right now. Act as if. Yeah, they're acting as if. Like, what they're doing has no consequences. Okay, that can be it, too. Let me see what else is here. Surrender now. Somebody needs to surrender their ambition. Meaning, they need to surrender now. Meaning, like, that is demanded. That somebody needs to surrender now or shit's gonna get out of hand or they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to handle it. Bring a gentle touch to resistance. Somebody is refusing to bring a gentle touch. Somebody is not here to be nice. Somebody is willingly trying to bring conflict. They don't want to bring a gentle touch. They want to bring harm. They want to be loyal to being cruel to you, being mean to you. That these people do not know their own worth. They don't. <clears throat> they don't even know their own self-worth. 
all right because they're loyal to people who want to hurt you who wants to attack you who wants to gang up on you who wants to take advantage of you and love somebody who doesn't really want to protect the relationship they're protecting whoever is sending the spiritual warfare out somebody's the in-between so somebody needs to understand their worth because truthfully when somebody sends out a spiritual warfare you do not understand your worth you're not understanding how energy works this is not a skill you should be playing with. This can actually cause unexplained deaths. Alright, it can. Okay, why is love wanting to move around? What's underneath love? Courage. Oh, so somebody's got the love and courage to want to hurt you. Because they're being influenced. That's the only thing I could think of. So let me see. Beaver spirit, cow spirit, pig spirit, badger spirit, buffalo spirit, peacock spirit, armadillo spirit, cola, koala spirit, squirrel spirit, spider spirit, grasshopper spirit, wasp spirit, electric eel spirit, flamingo spirit, vulture spirit, Hummingbird spirit, koi fish spirit, chameleon spirit. It's some type of an animal that looks like a lizard. I always have a hard time saying that name. Moth spirit and deer spirit, dog spirit and skunk spirit. So there is some type of fear here. And I did look up about skunk spirit. And it says that there's some type of issues that are going on. That somebody is trying to send you fear. Somebody is trying to send you very negative things. And somebody is not very wise here. So someone may have to eat their words. And there's going to be plenty of stuff. Meaning that you want to bring issues and love. You want to bring issues of trying to gang up on somebody and you're trying to pretty much whenever you're trying to inspiration others in a group you are cowards that is not being bold and fearless fearlessness you think you got to be in a pack but a person who is a lone wolf they're more dangerous than an individual who's in a group so you got people who are in a wolf pack who thinks they're going to hurt you and they're a vulture and they're going to have to surrender because they're not bringing bringing a gentle touch they they honestly think they're rebellion they're about to find out who's really the rebellion they're about to find out who's going to be shut the fuck up so since they try to shut you the fuck up they're going to be shutting the fuck up. And they ain't going to know what to do. And they're going to be questioning their loyalty. And they're going to be questioning their own worth. That's just how it goes. Alright. That's how people play. You know, this is their lesson. You know, you can't really control an individual. This is, this is pretty much what they want. Alright. And you cannot control it. You cannot stop it. This is when an individual wanted out, and that's why they want you to shut up. What is for, yeah, new moon and cancer? Relax. Because their attitude is just showing you what you need to know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, relax. So it's saying that relax your attitude. Relax, because... Your foundation is about to be turned upside the fuck down. Let me see. What is... Let your fears dissolve. And they can't, really. Their fears... They're fearing something and they cannot let go of it. They just can't. There's something here that they did. They cannot release the sphere. Well, gee, I wonder why. What is... Use your mind wisely and skill... Go for it. New moon and Aries. Go for it. Oh, shit. Meaning, if you have skill... 
to tell somebody that you're use your mind wisely it's saying that go for it that you have every right to snap upon a person these people are not ready for people to go off on them all right the inspiration and the be bold be fearless speak your world into being so all the only thing they're doing in their life is pretty much bringing actually themselves cowardness they are in fear they don't know how to inspiration by thyself they don't know they always got to put people in a freaking group and they think they can somewhat influence everybody <clears throat> that's not how it goes full moon in virgo yeah their pride is broken and they really can't take inspired action because the universe is not going to provide it for them to take inspired action they're not going to be able to what is let it shine so this whole situation is being shedded upon <clears throat> last quarter moon in virgo innovation new ideas let it shine a 10 a 10 to the details so you're understanding the details of why somebody is doing this to you you're understanding where it's coming from it's not their self they're having others in a group of trying to come at you and that's what's being brought to the light that's why they want you to shut up and also last corner moon in sagittarius practice gratitude yeah they want you to practice gratitude but how can you if you don't know how to set healthy ass boundaries so somebody needs to practice gratitude and learn spirituality they probably need to sit down read a book or actually look it up on the internet of what they are doing because they have no gratitude they are not thankful for anything really mood trying to attack spirit has a plan first quarter moon and capricorn unleash your kindest self so you probably may have been nice to these people you have releasing your kindest self of knowing how these people almost killed you how these people are hurting you you are unleashing your kindest self to these wicked ways of people that's what it is last quarter moon and gemini yeah potential believe in yourself clear your mind yeah you're actually clearing your mind and your thoughts of what is cheerfully going on you are believing in yourself and that's what they don't like they don't like you having the potential to catch on to what the hell they're doing to you all right <clears throat> that's what it is they don't like you catching on their potential they're gonna have to clear their head and the order and make your dreams come true first quarter moon and taurus release control so there is some type of control here all right there is they're trying to control the lover they're trying to control to bring order to make you think that you're a control freak but it's the other way around all right and that's what they need to be cautious and they need to be careful be loyal to what you love so seriously they like being controlled by people who gives them orders to hurt someone to possibly do something that they're going to regret later on but they're hurting themselves mood they don't understand how you're so kind to these people all right they just don't get it they don't understand it and then you are never alone wanted to come out all right i don't know why my cards are moving but i'll go with the flow clean out the clutter all right so something about cleaning out the clutter like i said somebody thinks you are a clutter when you're not these people are a clutter all right 
So, like I said, we got... Let me put this in order, actually, so it would make sense. Alright, Dog Spirit, Skunk Spirit, Alter Spirit, and Frog Spirit. I really don't think these people are ready for what they've done, actually, to the energy flow. So, these people are trying to make you feel lonely. These people are understanding that you are never alone. That you got other people in your corner. And stag spirit. It's like a, a bino deer. It says take the lead. Alright. So you got a whole bunch of things are saying that you need to take the lead. They're going to have to be cautious here. That's why they're in fear. Because you know of what they're pulling and what they're causing. Alright. So this explains of what I had in my thoughts. Of why this popped in my thoughts. Now I understand why it popped. Because it makes sense. Because there's people who can't really relax. They can't really let go of fear. They're fearful that you're going to go off on them. They're fearful that you're going to go for it. Maybe, maybe you are going to call them a pig or something. You're going to call them very nasty names. They're mad that you're going to go for it. That you're going to pick up on their skill to call them out. And speak your world into being. Is that they didn't think. That you were going to be fearless and bold. And call these people out. They're speaking upon what they want. Not what a person wants. This is somebody in a group. <clears throat> that's trying to control. Alright. They need to release control. That means order. They're making their dreams come true. That they're going to have to release control. They cannot control an individual. By no means. Take inspired action. Their pride is broke. And I really don't think they're going to be able to. Because the universe is not going to provide them. Abundance. No more. For right now. And attend to the details. Let it shine. And ovation. So these people had an idea. To try to keep it to where you'll keep your mouth shut. What you're trying to bring to the light of what they are doing. Alright. You are in tune. Attend to the details. Meaning you are paying attention to every detail of why somebody is trying to spiritually kill you. Almost did it. Can't leave you alone. He's trying to bring conversation. Arguments. Violence. Abuse. Anger. Manipulation. Trying to narcissistically make you a target for abuse. It's because of others are working together. Alright. So, let's get on to these two rows now. What is this about? Take the leap of faith. What is this about? It's about freedom, too. Seeing the big picture... Alright. Take a leap of faith. Seeing the big picture. Yeah, someone just took a leap of faith. Into not having their freedom. Their freedom got taken. Because they want to be in a group. Not to themselves. Sexuality, sometimes life stings. Think it through. Somebody did not think this through very thoroughly. Alright. Somebody did not think that this was going to sting them. Because they really didn't think it through of what you were going to understand of what you were going to pick up. Alright. This, this is what it is. They're actually upset. Because their sexuality... Is going to sting them. Meaning somebody was using their sexuality. In love. 
and they're that's why they're in fear somebody did not think it through they're using their body their looks to get attention they are using they're using their sexuality to get what the fuck they want meaning if somebody wanted to be mean to you in a group that's what they were going to do and they should have thought it through before they did it because it's going to sting each every one of them all right so resilience bring your ideas to life Last quarter moon in Cancer, take a breather. So somebody cannot take a breather as of right now. They can't. They cannot take a breather. And for the people who are not guilty, they actually can take a breather because they understand what is going on. Now voice, embrace the in-between. What is this about? Embrace the in-between and trying to silence your voice, trying to mute you. What is this about? First quarter moon in Sagittarius. First quarter moon in Aries. Stand in your power. Oh, yeah. The last quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. Oh, yeah. You're assessing the situation of why are people trying to silence you? You're trying to figure out why are people acting like this. Now you know why. It's because of their actions of what they are doing. So pretty much you caught on to it. Now this is going to be a little weird. But I would have to put the cards like this so I can show them. Which kind of messed up the other cards. But it's not a big deal. I can always refix them. But yeah. Your voice, they're trying to silence your voice because you embrace the in-between, the good and the bad. You're stepping into your power and they don't like you because you believe in your good luck. So you're good luck and they're not. And you're assessing the situation. First quarter moon in Virgo. They don't like you assessing the situation you are observing a situation you're observing these people are nothing but fucking vultures all right that's what it is you're observing last quarter moon in scorpio reveal what needs to be seen so that's what it is this is what needs to be seen and what is being caught why somebody is causing spiritual warfares is because of what they're doing. Because they're too much being a vulture. Wanting to be a vulture towards you. And they think that doing this to you is nothing wasted. But I hate to tell you this. People are more rebellious than what you think. Let me see. We got... Causing bickering. Reflect on your own priorities. Exactly. You need to worry about you need to worry about yourself. You don't need to be worried about somebody else. You need to worry about yourself. <clears throat> you need to worry about how you are because you don't know your worth. You're trying to clean out a clutter that God doesn't think somebody needs to be gone. God doesn't think that whoever you sent this to is a clutter, all right? And that's what's causing bickering, little petty arguments. Is that you need to worry about yourself. Be here now. Is that you need to worry about yourself. You don't need to be worrying about everybody else. Because somebody just asked for something that they're not going to be able to handle. Whatever, whatever they sent, huh, I really wouldn't recommend it. I really wouldn't. Because it is going to sting them and they ain't going to know what to do. Con connectivity. And there is always enough. New moon and Scorpio, go deep. Go deeper. Yeah, there is a deeper. Go deeper. You just got yourself into a very hot messy situation you ain't gonna get yourself out of all right you're gonna have to go deeper 
I don't even know if I even want to go that deep. But, yeah. Act as if. Last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. Yeah. You're going to have to be proud of yourself. Because people are trying to do stuff to you. You're catching on to it. You're going to have to be proud of yourself. Because you went through a lot. A lot of people are underestimating your strength. They are trying to take your kindness for weakness. They think you're weak, but you're not. Alright. What is surrender now? That their ambition, they need to surrender now. Last quarter, moon and Capricorn. Ambition. Leave the past. Yeah, leave the past behind. So somebody's not leaving the past behind. So that's what it is. Somebody's not leaving the past behind. Alright. What else is here? Do I need to know? New moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Yeah. Resistance. Not wanting to change. Not wanting to do anything. Alright. So you see the big picture that they can't take a breather. Because they know you're stepping into your power. They know that you're good look. They reveal what you need to see that they cannot reflect on their own selves. Go deeper. It's because they can't leave something in the past. Your ancestors are proud of you. Be proud of yourself. Trust all will be well. That's what it is. Last quarter moon and Aquarius. Trust in the universe. Trust the universe. New moon in Libra. Know you are loved. Yeah. So somebody was trying to make it out to be like you're not loved. So somebody tried to be out here trying to pull some really fucked up shit upon you. That is not okay. All right. That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to make it to where you're not loved, you're not cared for. Somebody just tried to do something that just really made themselves look like an ass. Alright. That's why, that's why they're in fear. Because they better be cautious. They're cautious now. But why are you cautious? You wanted to act up. You wanted this out. So why are you acting like that? You wanted all this smoke. Why you why you act like a coward? What's wrong? Did you get put in your place right now? What's your issue? What's your dealio, huh? What's the matter? What's the matter? You got put in check. Got your ass put in check, huh, didn't you? See, that's see that's why I don't understand about people. They wanna keep playing, they wanna keep playing. I wanna recommend it. But you know, that's their choice of how they want to act they want to act petty you know that's on them and it just shows you these people's true colors they pretty much don't want you here they pretty much want you gone and that's pretty much what they wanted they want you out of the picture <clears throat> they pretty much want you dead <clears throat> and that's pretty much how i'm seeing it in the cards but you can take it for her however you see it once I get it loaded up. You can take it for however it is. If you feel something different than what I'm saying, then that's okay. Then it resonates. But if it don't look like it resonates with you and you look at the cards and you pick up something else, that is completely fine. I'm okay with that. That's all cool beans to me. You know what I mean? Because I I may miss, I might miss something that you might be feeling, you know. So I'm okay with that. It's cool with me. You know what I mean? I ain't nothing wrong with that. Alright. <clears throat> so let's find out. What else is here? What else do I need to know? What is about this first pile? I'll just go ahead and do piles because it looks like a... What What is for the first pile? What is for the first pile? What do I need to know about the first pile? A man holding a coin. 
It's a man holding a coin. Could be a hit man. Door to spirit. Didn't choose the right way to go. At the bottom of the deck. It's door to spirit. What is for the second pile? Oh, fell off. And it flung out. Yep, third chakra. Somebody's going to be dealing with the third chakra here. What is... Go for it. What is this about the third pile? What is this about third pile? What is this about? Action. Ooh. Action and goddess of the moon. Ooh, that's what I said. Somebody is not ready for somebody to flip out. Somebody is not ready for somebody to take action to call this out. Somebody is not ready for someone to call their shit out. Somebody is not ready for the actions that they cause upon the goddess of the moon. That is, I think, cancer energy. Let me see. What else? What is for one, two, three, fourth? What's the fourth pile? What is the fourth pile I need to know about? What is the fourth pile? Thinking man. So a thinking man was trying to silence you. A thinking person was trying to do and also trying to do something about the first chakra. So a thinking man or a woman has to work on their first chakra now. What is for the last pile do I need to know about? What is for the last pile I need to know about? Angel of Strength. That's what I said. I said something in the words that people were trying to play with people's kindness and their weaknesses. They're trying to play with your strength and I wouldn't recommend it, but they did it anyways because they don't care. They don't care about the consequences and I said that. Angel of Strength is here giving you the courage to handle this because it's going to be a really bad betrayal. That you're going to find out about pretty quick, pretty soon. Somebody is not ready for it. Let me see. Rest and rejuvenate. You're resting and you're rejuvenating. The community. What's on the bottom? Envy. Yeah, the community is jealous of you. Envious of you. And while they're being jealous and doing their stupid shit. You're resting and you're rejuvenating, I mean you're recharging yourself. You are recharging your body like you're supposed to do. Alright. What is for a man holding a coin, actually? What is this about? What is about the man holding a coin? What does this have to do with all the energy flows right here? What does this have to do with it? Working. They're working on something and working on, they're looking at the second, okay, second, third, fourth, fifth cards, all right? So the man holding a coin is working on the second, third, fourth, fifth. Something there about they're working on something here that they're going towards. So this can mean somebody is trying to help you or somebody is working against you. It's her telling. What is for the second pile? What is for the second pile I need to know about <clears throat> to help to understand this a little bit better? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it has to do with money. Somebody was doing work upon you. That's going to sting them. It's going to sting them. What is for the third pile? Third. What's for the fourth? Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's going to be paying for their actions. Alright. And then for the fourth. Somebody is waiting for their ships to come in. What is for the fifth? 
the Empress. They're trying to take an Empress kind, kindness for weakness. Alright. So, Wrist Rejuvenate. You're going into calmer waters. From fights and conflict. From somebody who's trying to offer. So, I've got the Six of Swords. Going into calmer waters. Page of Cups. Somebody offering to bring the Five of Wands. So, I'm going to leave that out here. There's a reason for it. So, I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah. Somebody is offering... To bring you conflict, black magic, wicked ways. And this explains it. Or maybe this is a person that's working on why is people trying to offer to bring. Why are they working on trying to give out the community? Why are they offering to bring you conflict? Why are they trying to bring you spiritual warfare? And it's also about love, too. It's about a love dynamic. This is a lot of energy right now for why there's a spiritual warfare. Goodness gracious. Do you want to use these cards or no? Alright, I might get two for here. Or however it fits. Is there anything I need to know on this deck? Or do I need to leave this alone? If I don't get any cards, I'm going to leave it alone. Is there anything Is there anything that needs to be... Okay. Ace of Air. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. Seeing the truth of a situation. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that there to Queen of Water. A relationship develops to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Yeah, so that is the truth. There's somebody out here who is caring for a relationships. In relationships, there was some type of card out here that said they're more concerned about other people and it's friendship building into relationships and it's with a water sign could be an air sign a water sign or a fire sign all right or they could have earth water water air fire earth fire water in their birth chart in the community. Also want to point that out too. So that's what it is. You're seeing the truth. And that's why they want to try to silence you. That's why they want you to shut up. That's why they try to bring you spiritual warfare. So that you would shut up. Alright. I'm going to leave my angel card out for a minute. Let me see. Is there anything I need to know? About the unspoken messages. Because I feel like there's messages there I need to know. I feel like. Is there anything I need to know. About the unspoken messages. Fire witch tarot. Is there anything I need to know about the situation. About the relationship. About knowing the truth about. They're trying to shut you up about. Is there anything I need to know ancestors. Is there anything I need to know. Please reach out. So somebody is wanting somebody to reach out. I won't chase you. That's probably the situation. I'm not ready. Is there anything else I need to know? Don't lose hope. Heartbroken at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's heartbroken here. That's why they're in fear. I'm going to leave that there. What's on the bottom of the deck? Drop your fucking ego. Drop the fucking ego. Your ego is going to get you all fucked up. All right. That helps out a lot. Thank you, ancestors. Now I'm running out of space again. Oh, let me see. What are the lessons... If I can try it, this might be a little awkward how I'm going to do it, but this is how I'm going to fit it on the table. 
All right, what lessons is there about trying to reach out, trying to be sneaky? What is this about? What are the lessons? Friendship. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt some people's friendships right here. It's going to hurt the success, too. Meaning could be, remember, spirit has a plan. So their success may not work. Success, love, what else is there? Courage. All right. It fell. Ooh. Maybe somebody's courage, they fell. So after they had the courage to do something, they fell, actually, is what I get the feeling of. Alright, what else is there? They had an imagination. Alright, what else is there? Surrender. You got surrender twice. Alright, surrender and what else? Change. They need to bring change to the table. You got abundance and acceptance. They don't want to accept that they did all this shenanigans over money. Alright? That's what it is. They did it over money. Alright? It's over money. That's where the conflict is and that's why you're going into calmer waters. It's over money at the bottom of the deck fake busy doing juju all right I'll keep that out if I can try to I don't know how I'm gonna fit it like I said I can't fit all these cards on here on the table all right so yeah somebody cannot accept that you found out the truth there's prostitution Money, love. When it has to come with money and love, it means they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing. Alright? It's something that is very, very negative at that too. Not so kind to the heart space. This is a betrayal. They're going to someone to get money and get fucked. Alright? This is not very smart, okay? Not very pleasant to the heart space. This is really gonna... This is really gonna heartbreak someone that they couldn't shut you up. Meaning somebody is gonna get caught eventually of why they're getting money. They're getting money because they're fucking. And that's not how you get money. And that is the truth behind this shenanigan shit. Alright? Please stay there. Please do not fall on me. <clears throat> Alright, it fits. Cool, sweet. Alright, so they don't wanna they don't want you to see the truth and they're gonna get heartbroken that somebody is prostituting someone. Somebody don't wanna accept and they're running out of patience. That's what it is, too. They are completely running out of patience as of right now. Because of what you understand. And that's what's pissing them off. That you understand of what they are doing when they are not around. What is underneath? And it's about a family and the devil. Oh! Ain't that something? Ooh, that's why you keep moving on me, cards. Yeah, that's what it is. You're going into calmer waters because you're not you're not gonna deal. The devil is mad at you because you're going into calmer waters. The devil is trying to make it to where you can't go in a somebody's trying to keep you stuck. Alright. They're trying to keep you stuck in fights and conflicts. Because of their addictions. They got sex addictions towards somebody that ain't very healthy. At that too. And it ain't healthy. And somebody's offered somebody this. And somebody took the dirty offer. Somebody took the offer to have sex with someone just for money. 
that's how they're getting stuff that's how they look at this person and pretty much now these days you use somebody for that you can actually go to jail for that or it's just a very 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 bad sexual addiction that they cannot control all right that's all it is somebody has a very bad addiction they want to try to keep you so this person is intentionally bringing home black magic to you of whoever they're whoever they're around with this is why they want to keep you fucking quiet because you know it's about a lover and they're being encouraged they're being encouraged over love and friendships turned into relationships so this clarifies everything that's why somebody wanted to keep your mouth shut that's why somebody don't like you speaking that's why they're trying to spiritually kill you. This is why they're trying to bring you sickness. This is why they're trying to bring you problems. This is why they are attacking you, your enemies. This is why they're trying to bring sickness, violence, arguments, anger, manipulation, competition, flying monkey, narcissistic, narcissistic target of abuse, somewhat of abusive behaviors, emotional abuse, at that too. Health issues. You got to be strong willed when you're going to battle with these people. That's why that's why they're mad at you. That's why they want to silence your voice because they don't want you to know that they're going to be heartbroken once this gets out. They're trying to take your kindness for weakness. That's what it is too. They're trying to mess with you, and that's why their pride's broke. That's why they're waiting for better ships to come in. That's why they're going to pay for it, because they took action upon an empress. They took action upon somebody to hurt someone else because of evil attentions. And they are refusing to release control, meaning they are being controlled. And what I mean by controlled is that inspiration is the hip-hop queen that has to do with being influenced to release control so somebody's not letting go of control issues and you know it's about a relationship you know the truth because relationship developed to a new level also is right next to friendship which confirmed you know the truth that's why they want you to shut up and somebody is about to get really angry once this gets out somebody is enraged somebody's head is spinning somebody's mind is just right down freaking mad but you know that is their that's going to go back. Send back to Cinder. Their wicked ways. Send back to Cinder. They were hoping that you would not find this out. That's why they're trying to shut you up. That's why they're trying to attack you spiritually. This is why they're trying to attack your third eye. They're trying to attack what you know. That's why they're trying to make you sick. So the attention is off of them. They're being influenced. By others. Is there anything else I need to know? I'm going to use my chair. Is there anything else I need to know? Communication is key. New moon and Gemini. Yeah. Communication's key. So somebody is communicating of what they're doing. Intentionally doing to you. Full moon and cancer. A personal issue reaches a solution. So this is going to bring a solution to who the fuck's causing this issue. It's the ones who are secret lovers, who they're ganging up with, whoever they're hanging around with. They're in a group, they're being influenced, they're being controlled to do shit. That's what is revealed what needs to be seen. They're communicating to others on how to hurt you, how to make you end up alone. They have ambition. They need to worry about themselves. Stop worrying about everybody else. And new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into a situation. Full moon in Libra. A win-win out 
outcomes. Yeah, a win-win out outcome is forecast. I don't know why I can't say that. Somebody didn't want me to say that or state that. It's a win-win situation here. There is a solution to the problem and somebody's not wanting to fix that issue. They want to be stuck there. They don't want to communicate. That's what they're doing. The win-win situation, Libra is also known as karma at that too. And full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. So yeah, somebody needs to balance out their spirituality and their practicality. That the scales will be brought to a balance. It will be brought back to balance. You need to drop the fucking ego. And the reasons why drop the fucking ego is because their pride is reversed. Meaning they're not going to drop their fucking ego. Until they hurt an empress. Until they hurt somebody. And they're being cautioned not to do it. But a personal issue reaches a solution to the truth. So pretty much these people are trying to make it out to be you. But it's truthfully them, whoever they're hanging around with, whatever, whoever is making them being a monkey. Pretty much a flying monkey, a smear campaign. That's pretty much what it is. That's why they want you to shut your mouth. Because you know they're being influenced of whoever the fuck they're hanging around with. That's why it's bringing conflicts, troubles, arguments. Petty fights. Because somebody's not communicating the truth to you. You had to find out through tarot. That's why they want you to shut up too. Because they don't like you finding out information through tarot. Because they're the devil. They don't like you knowing this or understanding this. It's actually the community who's envious of you. And plus they're jealous of you too. They're jealous of your spiritual journey. That's what it is. They don't like you because you're spiritual. They don't like you understanding that you don't really have to be violent. You don't have to bring hostility to make somebody understand a point. You know that there's a love dynamic that's all fucked up. And I said, Ace of Air. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging challenging beginning it's going to be a challenge because somebody was being a dog being loyal to fake two-faced people who are doing magic just low vibrational dumb fucks all right they're being cautious they're in fear mode because you found out about the love lustful behavior they're encouraged by pussy and dick to treat you like shit. And they're not going to communicate that to you. They're not going to be telling you the truth of what you're, of what they're doing, actually. They're not. Now, you know what you do and you know what you don't do. And frog spirit's moving. Give with gratitude and grace. Turkey spirit underneath frog spirit. My cards are moving. Meaning they want, they pretty much got out what they wanted out. So pretty much somebody needs to give with gratitude and grace. Somebody doesn't know how to give with grace or, I don't know why I said attitude. Why is attitude in the mix? Gratitude, attitude, grace. So maybe some somebody's got poor attitude here to what you found out. And they feel like you're a clutter, but truthfully they're the clutter. They were being a dog to very low vibrational people wicked nasty very nasty energies of disrupting you so their energies whoever they're around they are very negative and it's affecting you and it's gonna break their heart because they're saying they're busy but they're not they're being fake busy meaning that they're going elsewhere they got lovers who are controlling them on what to do how to use magic against you. How to hurt you. Try to get you out of the picture. But I believe I believe this is all I got for today. I can't fit any more on the table. 
at that too but you got extremes at the bottom of the deck so like I said this is all I got but you will know who it is you know what you do and you know what you don't do if you know that your partner is acting fucked up who don't want to communicate with you then you know it's them because they're not communicating to you of why are people trying to hurt you? Why are people trying to gang up on you? Why are people trying to spiritually kill you? It's because they're communicating with them, not with you. But the solution to a personal problem or a personal issue reaches a solution. You know exactly who it is. You know who you are. You know who you're not. If you have a guilty conscience and being triggered then you need to work on it but there is a solution here that reaches a solution that you know who exactly who's doing this if you're not acting like this then it's not you if you know that your significant other or whoever is doing this to you whoever's being influenced then you know it's them all right this is all i got and i hope you guys have a nice day hopefully it gets better but you got to be very strong-willed. Do not let these people shut you up. Alright. You're fighting against evil attentions. Wicked ways. Wicked people. Evil attentions. Pretty much you're going to have to put your armor on. And be, be a bad bitch. Pretty much. You're going to have to show them that you're not weak. And I really don't think that's what they're ready for. But this is all I got. I hope you guys have a nice day.